Okay, move number 10 can be a little bit of a tricky one so you get the hang of it. It's called the cross and point. So not like the cross step, this one takes a step across and then an extension. So you really have to be very, very stable on the supporting leg because that one stays where it is and you lift over and then step it out again. Now the trick here is not to put any weight onto the extended leg. So you take a step across and a point, but there's no weight on this leg. You can even test yourself by lifting it up and down just to see that there's no weight. That's how you know it's the one that crosses over and points out. So you've got cross, point, cross, point, cross, point, cross, point. The cross point. This is great for traveling forwards, cross, point, cross, point, but you can also travel it backwards. Cross, point, cross, point. Okay, let's do it together really slow. Cross it over, point it out, cross it over, point it out, cross it over, point it out, cross it over, point it out. So when you get really good at this move, of course, you can start adding in some dramatic arm lines and some dramatic headlines, and then you will be really ready for all of your routines. So that's the cross and point.